Hurricanes in Tennessee. What's up, y'all? I'm Rachel Hadidzis. I'm a local realtor with EXP in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about Tennessee weather, the year-round weather, when are the warmest months, and when are the coldest months. In this week's video, let's dive into some of the severe weather that can occur here in Tennessee, from flooding to, of course, tornadoes. Look, I'm not here to scare you out of moving here in the first place, but if you're gonna be moving to Tennessee, you need to be prepared for what could possibly happen. Check the weather here daily by installing a weather app on your phone and have a plan in place for severe weather. And make sure you stay tuned until the very end of this video because I'm gonna tell you when are the most likely months for a tornado in Tennessee. All right, let's get straight to the elephant in the room because a couple of you have commented on my channel that the reason you wouldn't move to Tennessee is because of the hurricanes. Because Tennessee is a landlocked state, we lack the main ingredient for a hurricane, which is the ocean. Hurricanes will form in the ocean and eventually they will make landfall. Once they make landfall, they'll start to diminish in strength and be downgraded into a tropical storm. Tennessee can get what the meteorologists label the tropical storm remnants. Tropical storm remnants, that's basically just a lot of rain with some severe winds, but nowhere near hurricane force winds. So for someone to argue that the reason they wouldn't live in Tennessee is because of the hurricanes, that's actually pretty inconceivable to those of us that actually do live here. My BFF from the University of Tennessee, she and her new husband are purchasing a new construction home outside of Orlando. And as you can see in Florida, they construct their homes out of cinder blocks. They're just made out of different materials than we use here in Tennessee. When I asked Julie, does Tennessee get hurricanes? She laughed at me. She said, Tennessee is where people in Florida go to take cover. So take it from a Tennessee girl turned Floridian, Tennessee does not get hurricanes. Tennessee can, however, experience some flooding due to heavy rain at times. It's sometimes those tropical storm remnants that can cause heavy rain, or it could just be some other unique weather pattern. Sometimes we'll get this flash flooding here in Tennessee, and if you're out driving in your car, you might have to pull over because you literally just can't see anything and your windshield wipers can't clear the rain off of your windshield fast enough. This flash flooding that occurs, it's when the rain comes down so quickly that the water can't drain fast enough. Again, if you're driving in your car, you wanna take care so that you don't hydroplane. Maybe y'all remember hearing about the most well-known flood in Tennessee. It happened back in 2010 in parts of Middle and West Tennessee, but Nashville really made the news a lot because we were just basically underwater. This was due to a stalled weather front that just poured on Nashville. And while that was a 100 year flood, you do wanna keep in mind that these things can happen. And of course, the most well-known severe weather event that can happen here in Tennessee is the tornadoes. Tornadoes are considered the biggest natural disaster that can occur here in Tennessee on an annual basis. I found a map of billion dollar disasters that occurred in the US in 2020. And as you can see, the biggest weather event that happened in Tennessee was the tornadoes. Last year, we had a total of 35 tornadoes, which is a lot. In 2020, the deadliest event happened on March 3rd when an EF3 tornado blew through my hometown of Putnam County. On that same night, there was another EF3 tornado that hit parts of East Nashville and then going into Wilson and Smith counties. Because the worst of these tornadoes occurred just after midnight, many people were asleep and they simply did not take cover. And some fatalities did occur. And I remember how that night started out because it was a Monday night and I was watching The Bachelor. Anytime there's a severe weather event that happens during The Bachelor, of course, Miss Danielle Breezy comes on and she says, please don't send me hate tweets. We've got some severe weather happening and y'all got to take this stuff seriously. Again, get into a safe area according to your tornado plan and you'll be far less likely to get hit by the flying debris. Okay, so let's talk for a minute about the difference between a tornado watch and a tornado warning because it can definitely be confusing if you've not grown up around these watches and warnings your whole life. 
A tornado watch is when the current weather conditions make a tornado formation possible and you need to be in a safe area where you can take cover when needed. A tornado warning is when an active tornado has been seen or detected on radar and you need to take cover immediately if you're within the path of a tornado. You'll wanna to go to the lowest floor of your house to a small center room, like a bathroom or closet or underneath a stairwell or an interior hallway with no windows. From there, you'll crouch down on the floor and cover your head with your hands. We call this the tornado drill position. The four months out of a year where conditions for a tornado are most likely to occur are February, March, April, and November. Give this video a like if you learned something new today and make sure to subscribe with the bell so that you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. I've got so much more to tell you about life and real estate in the Murfreesboro area and beyond, so I'll see you at the next video.